Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2025, and we are here in the booth of Iconopedia. We have with us uh, Emily Crane and Dr. Manish Lakspati. Thank you both for being with us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. You bet. So, uh, Emily, you're with Iconopedia, and uh, Dr. Lakspati is a, is a user of Iconopedia. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the company and uh, the product and the niche it serves? Yes, absolutely. Um, Iconopedia has created an end-to-end -end solution for both patient um, intake, uh, risk assessment, uh, tech reporting, physician reporting, and all of patient management that happens in the breast center. Our goal with this product, given that our founders are actually Dr. Tabar and um, Dr. Stavros, was to create a tool and a solution that both created efficiencies in the practice as well as patient safeties. Yeah, because m breast imaging centers are under a lot of pressure in terms of, of, of the volume of, of staff they're seeing and the reimbursement and all that kind of stuff. Right, exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, one of the pieces of our product that is our most loved is a single lesion specific tracking that puts every single finding into a closed loop follow-up to ensure there's no loss even of secondary findings. And so this is if a woman goes in for a mammogram and there's something suspicious, we want to make sure that she gets that follow-up imaging, the follow-up biopsy, and that she's not kind of lost. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Uh, Emily, can you tell us about some of the, um, the milestones that you saw at Iconopedia this year? Sure, yes. We uh, have launched our biggest customer to date fully, which is Acumen, and now are being utilized across all of their imaging facilities that do breast imaging. In addition to that, we continued our path towards technology advancement in this space. Um, and in fact, in advance of the new BIRADS, we actually already had method of detection reporting automated in our solution. And then this year at RSNA, we're actually showcasing our newest advancement, which is contrast enhanced mammography reporting. Well, that's been really big at this meeting. It is big. It's huge. We're very excited about yeah. it. Now, Dr. Luxpati, you've been using this as a breast imaging radiologist in Southern California. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about your experiences with the Iconopedia product? Sure. Yeah, we started uh, using Iconopedia back in 2017 uh, at a large mobile mammography practice in Southern California where we had a combination of mobile screening as well as diagnostics. Um, and it really was a game changer for us as far as efficiency with our high volume practice, um, the workflow of just being able to generate reports, the majority of you know, the negative screening mammograms take three clicks and I'm on to the next case. Even the diagnostic workflow has been extremely efficient as far as entering the findings, going to the next case, and then um, with the, with the setup, as far, as far as our technologists being able to follow up patients, our patient navigators, uh, generating all the compliance reports and everything, it's just been a lot more efficient than any other systems I've seen. And then the other biggest thing for us has been scalability. Because it's a cloud-based platform, adding on other radiologists, training them, it takes no setup like, and takes minimal training. The radiologists are up and running, so it's been really great for us. Awesome. That's great to hear. Well, Emily, what can we look forward to seeing from Iconopedia in 2026? We're actually really excited about 2026. Um, I know that we will be announcing additional modalities that we create reporting for, um, including DEXA as well as uh, breast CT. And in addition to that, continuing to update our software to accommodate the rest of the BIRADS. Awesome. Well, we'll look forward to seeing it. Well, uh, Emily Crane, uh, Dr. Monish Lakspati, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Signing off for The Imaging Wire, my name is Brian Casey.